Hello my little pixels and welcome back to Persona 5 Royal. So last episode, um, we were just jumping, we were just like going around Mementos for a little bit. Also, we were just getting, we were just bonding with some of our friends. So like, uh, Ryuji and on Kasu Kasumi as well wanted to talk to us. And then we had um, a little bit of a party with uh, me, Morgana, Yusuke, Ryuji and on. And we, we opened up about like our past and stuff to Yusuke since, well, Yusuke knew, we knew Yusuke's past, but he didn't really know ours, so we told him about it. And, um, so we, so Yusuke is now hanging with us. Also, I bought the uh, DLC personas and there's that boy over there, Isanagi no Okami. I'm not using him. I'm just not using him. <laughs> Actually, I'll use him in one battle just to demonstrate how destructive he is. Also, we got this message that uh, I forgot to open last e last episode because I was just like... I wanted to end it off quickly just because um, it was going for so long. But let's see what this is. Check out the picture I took today. Nice! Oh, that picture looks great! He's sweating and everything, look at him! Yeah, it's pretty good. The steam fogged up his glasses. Another, <laughs> another of the many charms of eating hot pot, I suppose. Oh man, I keep looking back at this picture. Carl's face is still hilarious. Oh yeah, Yusuke is still at Carl's place, right? Don't go, don't go making any trouble for him, okay? Of course, I'd like to think that I'm not socially gr that, that's socially graceless. All I can ask is a warm futon and a traditional Japanese breakfast. That's asking a lot. Yeah, it is Alaska a lot around here. Can we? No, we can't go any place uh, anywhere. Uh, but next time, next time I'll show. Like next time we get the chance to go to Memento, so I'll head there. Okay, but I'm still awake. I'm not talking about you. Wait, don't leave drop on me. Did something happen? Aren't you going to sleep? I'll be fine here. I sleep in my studio on occasion, so this lo is luxurious in comparison. Um, yeah, that's just a, Well, let's just head sleep. You needn't worry about breakfast for me tomorrow. I'll be fine with some grilled fish and miso soup. Alright, let's go to sleep. Hmm. Hmm, Igor wants to speak to us. Probably a turning point. Prisoner has returned. Well, I'm just getting the. All right, there we go. You're in the presence of our master. Stand up straight. All right. The bonds that you have reeled in are quite intriguing. Mm -hmm. In other words, they all have been unfairly labeled by society and are standing up against such fates. Have you noticed? They seem to have influenced you. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> These picaresque dissidents of society deepen your bonds with them. Those will become the strength behind your rehabilitation. I look forward to it. I shall grant you an ability befitting oh. of your newfound growth. Consider it a gift. Thank you. May you continue devoting yourself to further rehabilitation. I'll try. Oh yes, more slots. All right. It's almost time. For Mercado. A little bit. It's such a delight to enjoy coffee of this quality. You could stay until you find a place, you know. I can't promise it'd be comfortable here, though. Thank you, but I'll return to the dorms. I realized something after talking with everyone last night. Oh, what do you realize, Yusuke? Perhaps it's due to my upbringing, but I don't know anything of the world, let alone other people. If I'm to depict people in my art, I need to learn more about them. I must interact with them more. I'll return to the dorms and start over by talking with the people closest to me. I see. Good on you for realizing that yourself. Yeah. There's no need to exaggerate. May I come again sometime to enjoy your coffee? 
Yusuke, you'd be absolutely welcomed if you came back here. My doors are always open. He's been through a lot, too, from what I've heard. Yeah, I have. Are you related to him? Huh? Oh, uh, how would I describe it? We're just acquaintances, not family or anything. Mm, yeah. I may be overstepping my bounds, but why did you decide to take him in? My reason, huh? <laughs> Probably because he reminds me of my old self. Aww, that's nice. That's all? You know how it is. Sympathy makes you do stupid things sometimes. Your art instructor, um, former art instructor, he must have felt something for you too, besides just stealing your talents. Truth be told, I cannot hate him from the depths of my heart either. I should probably get going. Hey, you sure about this? The painting, I mean. It'd be a waste to keep here. Even if I kept it at the dorms, it'd only be met with skepticism. I doubt it would want that. Hmm, yeah. Adding a hint of color to an otherwise ordinary day. I'm sure my mother would have done the same. That's nice, I think. I see. I'll hold on to it for you then. Thank you for the coffee. I'll come again. Bye, Yusuke. Is this what you want? This thing is probably the strongest persona in the entire game. What's it? What's its thing? Increased attack and defense based on inmate registry completion. Wow. Okay. But yeah. You'll withdraw this persona. It's free. Then accept this persona. Oh. Oh, that's expensive. This, these three. Oh, it has Frey as well. Oh! And that hits three times, so that does about 900 damage. Wait. Hold on. Oh, what? It fully restores all HP and SP after battle? Increase evasion from all magical attacks except Almighty. Wow. And it's resistant to everything except Bless and Curse, which does neutral. This thing is a fucking monster. Like it has the it has like a keyblade or it has like a keyblade. Oh, Medea Haran. Seems it will become a skill card. Medea Haran that heals everyone, full health. Ah, earlier than expected. What? Have a seat. I'll get straight to the point. Mr. Kamashida and Madarame. Won't you tell me the truth behind the Phantom Thieves incidents? Can't answer that? Oh, of course. There's no way you would admit to such things. What are you getting at? Have a listen. If someone else could help him, we wouldn't be doing stuff as the Phantom Thieves to start with. Ryuji! We'll be okay if we keep doing this, right? What could all this mean? Um... We screwed up. Was it blackmail? Hypnosis? How do you corner someone into making them confess? Won't you tell me how you did it? Ask the culprits. You want to say that this doesn't prove anything, don't you? I believe that you three are the Phantom Thieves. 
now. What would the police think if they heard my recording? It'd be bad if we're put under police surveillance. There's no telling what'll happen to you, too. If you confess the truth, I don't mind just leaving this between the two of us. You'll tell me, won't you? <sighs> Let me think about it. I believe that time would just be wasted. Go ahead. Hey, where you at? Taking a leak? <laughs> Let's meet up at the usual spot to hold our Phantom Thieves meeting. I'm going to punch Ryuji in the face. That idiot! I'm gonna actually punch him square in the face. As loud as always. But his timing's perfect. I'd like everyone else to hear this as well. Won't you take me to your friends? Fine. I guess it can't be helped now. Yeah, we don't have a choice. I knew she cornered us eventually. Oh. Hmm? Here? Not just me. Is that girl, a friend of yours? What? What the hell? What's the meaning of this? I had him lead me here. Ryuji Sakamoto. On to Kamaki. And you're Kitagawa-kun, correct? Second year at Kosei High and former pupil of Madarame. I wanted to ask you all about this. If someone else could help him, we wouldn't be doing stuff as the Phantom Thieves to start with. An extremely similar technique was used for both Kamashita and Madarame, while those affected by their acts were just coincidentally meeting up. How could that not raise suspicions? Yeah. What do you intend to do? Have you come just to say you're going to report us? I bet someone told you to find us. The school can't have ties to criminals, after all. Yeah, that's not allowed. Oh, I have a criminal charge for something I didn't do? Oh, okay. And yet they turn a blind eye when it comes to suicide and sexual harassment. Yeah. Those adults are just using you. I feel sorry for you. I... I know. Huh? That's why I would like to verify the justice you speak of. Hmm. What are you getting at? What? I'm the only one who knows about you. If you prove what you're doing is just, I'll erase this. Okay. She wants to make a deal. There is someone whose heart I'd like you to change. Who? Who? Yeah. Hmm. So you're not saying it's impossible. However, I cannot tell you that just yet. Okay, you want us to change his heart, but we need a name. Let's continue our talk after school tomorrow. On the roof. Okay. Assuming you accept my offer, that is. We don't have a choice. <sighs> it's just turning into a real pain. Yeah, we don't got a choice. I was thinking you might not show. We don't have a choice. So, whose heart do you want us to change? A mafia boss. Jesus! Okay. Mafia? What are you talking about? That's what they call themselves. This group seems to be the cause of the rise in phishing scams. What's worse, okay. once you're in their sights, they won't stop threatening you until they get what they want. They'll force you to take part in their scams, threaten your family, and ultimately destroy your life. Holy shit. It appears that their victims include some of our students. No! They primarily target juveniles. Mm. What's their boss's name? Nobody knows. The victims are being threatened not to testify. So even the police can't get a grasp of the situation. <sighs> okay, well... That's where you want us to start? That's one tall order, lady. You should be able to pull it off. 
If you're really the righteous band of thieves. Yeah, but we still need a name, a place, and a location. Or is Akechi-kun correct when he says you act without justice? Can't you say something witty back at her? I keep, I always remember this one, and I fucking love it. I knew you were gonna say that. Why? Yeah. Their main hub of activity is in Shibuya. Okay. That's all the information I have. At least it's something. At least we can scout out that area. You have two weeks. Two weeks? Once that is passed, I'll submit all the evidence I have to the police and to the school. Oh, fuck. I hope you don't let me down. She's got us in a corner. There's not much. There's like almost nothing we can she do about really this. Had the upper hand in that exchange. Yeah, the fucking hand was so up. It was up my arsehole and coming out of my mouth. Don't let me down. Damn it, she was just bossing us around. Yeah. Wait, I just I just remembered. Um. So actually, we'll we'll finish this uh, exchange with the guys, and then I'll say it. Come on, we should get in touch with Yusuke. Yeah. Oh, the Sayori. It seems to suit this cafe quite well. Yeah, it's a nice color. I'm glad I chose to leave it here. I fear I have found myself in quite a horrible mess. What's wrong? To put it bluntly, I am in need of your assistance. Please, listen to what I must say. Of course. Throughout my artistic career, there have been moments I've struggled with particular motifs or techniques. Mm hmm However, each of those struggles did eventually fade. Yet now I find myself in a similar situation, but the more I try to escape it, the worse it becomes. Sounds like... depression, really. It seems I am trapped in what we in the art world call a slump. Are you aware that I'm attending Kosei on an art scholarship? Yeah. Such coveted grants are not given as charity. I must continually achieve within my field to remain eligible. Were I to lose my scholarship, I would likely have no choice but to leave the school as well. In the earlier days of my career, I would exclusively paint what I desired when I desired it. The only goal I had in mind was the pursuit of pure beauty. That goal is what drove me onward. And that's what le led us to meet. I wanted nothing more than to attain the lustrous allure of the Sayori in my own work. Yet, what reason do I have now? Holding on to my scholarship? Keeping a roof over my head? No, you do it to keep enjoying what you do. Worldly desires are all that spur my brush to move. And the resulting work reflects such impurity of mine. To be honest, I am unsure as to whether I can even call myself an artist anymore. Don't be so tough on yourself. My apologies. It seems I got somewhat carried away there. But I simply cannot accept this lack of purpose in my work. That is why I am so upset with my own indecision. Such vague ambition is, in essence, a sin of sorts. Though I suppose allowing my young career to come to an end here would be even more sinful. Yeah. I only wish to create a work I can be genuinely proud of. Just look at the Sayori. Her incandescent figure, alluring gaze. That is the meaning of pure beauty. Yet, no matter how hard I try to replicate it, an elegance so sweet remains elusive to me. Do you want to know what's why? It's because it was made with tr true love. Your mother painted that for you. Why is that, you ask? It is surely because the painter behind the work differs. Because the soul differs. Exactly. But, if my estimations are correct, 
The soul is nothing but another way to speak of the human heart. What, then, is the heart? How does it bring forth such beauty? I must understand. <sighs> to be perfectly frank, though, I am unsure of how to do so. Would you be able to provide me assistance? Of course I would. You have already brought profound change to my world. Hence, I believe you of all people may be able to bring me closer to the truth. I would be glad to help. You would? W wonderful. At the moment, my art teacher has yet to notice any drastic changes in my work. But I cannot hide forever. Impurity of the heart will undoubtedly seep onto an artist's canvas eventually. I must go now. My curfew approaches. Okay. I look forward to speaking about this matter again. Mm -hmm. Nijima-kun, what is going on here? Apparently the damage done by this so-called mafia has even reached our student body. That's what she said to you last time. Well... I thought this absurdity was nothing but a joke. Not only are there victims, there are even rumors that some are involved with such crimes. I've even received inquiries from their guardians. Why is this happening? It's your fault for not fucking keeping care of your sh You're the principal for fuck's sake. Unfortunately, I do not have the answer to that. This is the greatest disgrace in the history of this academy. If it were to be discovered. Yeah, you'd be out of a fucking job. This is a vital issue for the student council. Did I not ask you to resolve it? You asked her to resolve the Phantom Thief case instead. I'm doing the best I can. And I can trust you? You must do something about this at once. I'm gonna fucking smack the tits off you. You're the only I hate you so much. Around here. Don't let me down. From what I've heard, even the other students are starting to be dissatisfied with you. This is your fault. This is your problem. You're the principal. You're supposed to be you're supposed to be taking care of your students. At this rate, you and I will both lose our roles at this school. Do you understand? Honestly, good. I do. Please, just give me a little more time. Mm -hmm. Some money right now. Can you tell me about this easy part-time job? I'm sure you know about it, Ida Kun. Please. Oh, that's an I. It looks like an L. <sighs> you don't need my help. A girl like you could probably get a job anywhere, right? What are you insinuating? Huh? Um. Now that you mention it, yes. So, um. What I mean is... Oh, she's fucking... Oh, no. This is going south fast. Yeah, I'll jump in. Oh, Francois! <clears throat> huh? Hmm? My cat, Francois, got run over by a car and also has an incurable illness. I need money fast. That's not convincing at all. Is she talking about me? <clears throat> if Francois were to die, I think I'd die too. Come on, don't talk like that. If you don't like it, then tell me about that easy part-time job. You know something, don't you? I've heard the rumors. Rumors? Was it Nishiyama who... Oh. Nishiyama? Oh, uh... Hey, what was that about Nishiyama? That's... She actually got the momentum back. She's not acting anymore now, is she? Come on. Let's leave this guy to Lady On and go look for that Nishiyama fellow. Okay. From what I remember, when I played this originally... Oh, hey, Misima. From what I remember originally, he was in the library, I think? What's up, Misima? for something, right? I want to help you out, so please ask me anything. Where's this guy? Nishiyama? He usually hangs out with Ida. Oh, so you want to ask him about Ida? So that's why Takamaki-san was chasing him. I'm sorry, I don't know where he is right now. 
He That's usually fine. stays till late, so I think he's probably still somewhere in the school. I'll keep digging around while you're looking for him. Well, I guess we can let him handle this. We'll have to ask someone else about Nishiyama's whereabouts. Can you think of anyone who might know? Hmm. Um. Nishiyama. Yeah, I'm looking for him. Library, yeah. Thank you. Thank God we can, like, sprint now. Alright, let's find this boy. Where's he at? Oh, this probably him. Nishiyama? That's me. Yeah. You're that transfer student, right? You need something? Ida. Ida. How do you know about that? Are you doing something, Em? He's been acting really strange lately. Nah, I'm not. I just want to know why he's acting strange. I want to help him. Oh, what do you mean? Is he really wrapped up in something shady? I don't know. I thought... One day, the two of us went to yeah. Shibuya, and a man approached us over near Central Street. He asked if we were interested in an easy part-time job. I said I wasn't, but Ida was into it. He was asking the guy all sorts of questions. What was the job? I don't know. I was so scared, I ended up going home alone. But according to Ida, it only takes 10 minutes and is good for people who don't stand out. What happened after that? started spending a lot of money. That's when his strange behavior began, too. Hmm. But that's all I know. That's enough, right? A man on Central Street, huh? That is suspicious. Maybe he was making him commit crimes? Possibly. Thank you for your uh, information, though. Have you found anything? I tried looking into this high-paying part-time job myself. People seem to be talking about it here as well. Supposedly a man will talk to you in broad daylight over on Central Street. And your job is to deliver small envelopes he hands you. Well, if any... if I will contact you again if I learn anything more. So that means this part-time job is somehow crime-related. It takes ten minutes, is good for people who don't stand out, and involves a small envelope. Hmm. Does that ring any bells? It's something the Mafia would definitely be up to. Yeah. Drugs, probably. Like illegal drugs? Maybe they made Ida smuggle drugs for them. Probably. That definitely fits with a small envelope. And you can get arrested just for possession. Yeah. Did you meet Nishi... Nishiyama? Well, I looked into Ida on my own. Anyway. Rumor has it you got involved in some kind of suspicious part-time job. And the job's apparently totally insane. Something about trafficking drugs, I think. I hear that they ask you to take part in, in it down on Central Street in broad daylight, even. So he is smuggling. This won't be pretty. No, it won't. Come on, let's go back to Lady On. We'll ask Ida directly. Yeah. Hmm, Look, seems like we're getting somewhere. It's good to know that we're getting somewhere with this. Please tell me about the job, or else my beloved Francois. Oh. She's still doing that? All right, take over for her. Give it up, Ida. Uh, come on, you two. I already told you I don't know. Nishiyama told us everything. You bastard! Damn it! <laughs> Shit. Well, if you already know about it, fine. I don't want to talk about it here. Let's go somewhere a little quieter. Okay. We're getting somewhere. What's up with you? Especially in front of everyone. Yeah, I got a job. So what? Isn't that normal? What are you getting at? You're a drug smuggler. How do you... I've only told one person about that. Yeah. Of all people. I can't believe you were the one to find out. You're right. They told me they had an easy part-time job for me, and I ended up smuggling drugs. All I had to do was put envelopes into coin lockers, and they said they'd give me a hefty paycheck. 
I didn't know what was in the envelopes, though. Still, this is what came out of it. Hmm. Are you being threatened? So you knew, huh? They started threatening me right after they deposited the money into my bank account. They had pictures of me carrying the goods. Said they'd expose what I did unless I paid them off. You know? Why are you even asking me this stuff? Are you just gonna use my job to blackmail me too? No. I see. Well, even if you were planning on doing that, I don't have any money I could give you. If you're really interested in that job, try heading over to Central Street. That's where they told me about it. I, I told you everything you want to know, right? Can I go? Yes. Well, then. Okay, this is good. How'd it go? Did on acting help at all? I'm thinking probably not. It went perfectly, I think. More importantly, were you able to find anything? It's drugs. So they ask you to deliver drugs. That's serious. I mean, searching for Shibuya drugs has got tons of hits too. So they're making people traffic drugs and threatening them? That must be what I heard people talking about in Shibuya. Seems to be... Seems... They seem to be going about this this quite openly during the day. What bold methodology. I would have imagined they would have done it at night. I wonder why they chose the day. They go for high schoolers. I see. Yes, more students will be out during the day, while the police will be more cautious at night. Yuji, you're over in Shibuya right now, right? Do you see anyone... Do you see anyone like that there? Yeah, I'm at Central Street. It's tough to tell, though. I mean, there's just way too many people. The goddamn rain's not helping either. The sun will be setting soon. What should we do? Let's do this tomorrow. Yeah, that seems like our only choice now. We can split up and search separately then. In any case, we have some new intel that, that let us call let us call that progress for today. Whoever asks us to take on the job should know who their boss is too. All right, I'll get in touch with you guys later tonight, and we can come up with a plan. Trying her best, though. I'll give her that. Okay, we're all here. Sup? There sure are a lot of high schoolers during the day. They must be targeting them somehow. Yeah. Finding the specifics may be difficult. With such a crowd, the odds are against us. Hmm. We have to do this. Right. We're gonna grab them by the tail. You should head over to Central Street, like we planned yesterday. Yeah. Sweet. Let's get going. Let me know if you find any shady people. Hello. Oh, Makoto. Have you made any progress toward finding the boss? Shibuya is a big place. Well, you aren't wrong about that. Hey, you two got some time? Oh. I have a great job for you. It's real easy. Guess you could call it a delivery job. Maybe this is our guy. It seems we didn't have to look very hard in the end. You're high schoolers, yeah? Don't you want something more than just your allowances? Hmm. By delivery, do you mean that of suspicious materials? Huh. You're a funny girl. So, you won't answer me. Then I was right. Huh? What's up with you anyways? Why are you asking all these questions, huh? Oh. Uh... It was all a joke. Why would I get worked up over some dumb kids? Anyways, I can't hang. See ya. Um, if you don't want to deal with us, we could always go see your boss ourselves. You really gonna say that knowing who he is? <laughs> no way I believe that. I'm out of here. You guys are annoying me. Damn it. I'm pretty sure he's part of the mafia we're looking for. Yeah. Let's go after him. I think we should get some proof before we do that. Mm, yeah, I tried maybe. to trick him into saying something, but he dodged all the traps I was laying down. By the way, thanks for standing up for me. No problem. 
I'm going to go now. Okay. Ichima Senpai, aren't you going to help me? How oh dare. Oh, it's Ida. It's Ida. You said you would keep it a secret, but rumors have started getting out. Wait. You didn't leak that information, did you? No. Calm down. They're still targeting you? Even that delinquent found out. He might try and threaten me, too. Why is this happening to me? I can't afford to keep paying. I, I found some clues regarding your incident. I just need you to wait a bit longer. Oh, you're dear. really gonna help? Everyone thinks you're just doing it for a letter of recommendation. That is not true. My goal here is to protect the students of this school. Please. Please hurry. I get where she's coming from. She just wants to help people like us. Well, not like us. We don't need help. But she's just trying to help people like the way we do it. So, Boyo? Yep. He yes. does. He's part of a burglary ring targeting restaurants. He's using violence against his brother. We have to do something about this. Let's talk to him. <laughs> Me? I'm the one behind the burglary ring. Yeah, that's right. I convinced my friends to do some part-time work for me, but I'm not in the wrong. Try making... Trying to make excuses now? You should be ashamed of yourself. No, I just meant it in a way to have a little fun. But those idiots got cocky. And now I'm the one who's in trouble. Damn it, why do bad things always happen to me? Huh? Bad things? What are you talking about? Ever since I was a kid, school, society, every treat, everyone treated me like I was dirt. My little brother was the smart one. Mom and dad's favorite. They couldn't care less about me. How can you expect me to live a normal life from re rebelling against a shitty society? You think violence and crime's rebellion? Don't be stupid. I'll show you. What did you say? You guys are thieves too. Don't think you're better than me, idiots. Go away. Oh, it's Mithras. This shouldn't be too difficult. Such a condescending gaze, I'll crush you. Oh. Yeah, sure. Now. Willow Fourth. Sacred Tempest. Very nice. Uh-oh. Oh, nice dodge, Morgana. Jesus, he's nearly dead. This thing is like... Oh my god, that's sad. Is that the end of the battle, or because he's dead? Yeah, he is. Wow, okay, I didn't even have to finish off the other one. Nice. That was easy. I supposed to do just what are you phantom thieves anyway this is impossible I get it now you must have heard it from my brother that's right if you guess as much you must know how your brother really feels he did this for me that's the key this that's the key to my the chest in my room give it to my brother you're supposed to be the good kind of thieves right what what why would we do something for you like that for you? Anyway, you want to tell him? Well, burn what's inside or throw it away, I guess. <laughs> there it is. What are we going to do about that treasure? We'll give it to his brother. Yeah, it's no use to us anyway. What will we do? I can give it to him since he goes to my school. 
No, I'll just sneak into his house. I think that's the best way. I hope everything resolves itself. In any case, we pretty much succeeded, su succeeded with our mission. Nice. Let's 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 head back. Did you change your mind? Oh. The journalist responded to me. The crossroads bar. Hmm. This is from that journalist, right? She wants to meet you there now? Looks like this crossroads place is in Shinjuku. A meetup in Shinjuku. Sounds good. That's a spirit. Try not to freak out just because Shinjuku's the nightlife district, okay? You should send everyone a message and let them know what you're up to. Shinjuku at night, eh? That sounds rather dangerous. Where should we meet up? Stand by on. It'll be easier to move around with less of us. My apologies. I don't have the money to take the train there. Then you're on standby too. Me and Carl will go, okay? Got it. If Carl's going, I guess there's no need to worry. We'll leave it to you then. Well, I guess that's that. Let's meet up in Shibuya. Be careful, you two. I shall be sure to save money for us for a situation like this from now on. Yeah, Yusuke is absolutely poor. Are you gonna go in your school uniform? Yeah, that's a bad idea. It would be bad for you to stand out. You should change before you go. Yeah. That's how Ryuji is smart enough to do the same. You're in your uniform? <sighs> oh, Ryuji Kwan. Huh? No choice. I didn't have the time to go home. People aren't gonna notice anyways with this t-shirt over it. I hope so. You kind of stand out. Oh, you think so? I thought this is normal. No. I'm surprised you were thinking anything. Look, it won't be my fault when the cops catch you. Don't worry about it. That place ain't so different from Shibuya. Are you sure? Come on, I'll guide you. If we're going to Shinjuku, we should probably hop on the JL. Just get out of this building, and then the ticket gate should be on the right. It's go time. Okay. Is this really going to be okay? I'm not too sure. Well, it's not what we can do about it now. But, yeah, I've been recording for a fair bit, so uh, we'll pick this up in the next episode. Okay, so I'm going to leave this episode here. If you did enjoy, leave a like, and hey, want to subscribe, it helps children grow. Thank you guys, and I'll see you guys in the next episode. Bye!